Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Iconic Masters. I wanted to sit on it a little bit. And Rudy, Alpha Investments, he has put Iconic Masters for his Patreons at $119.99. So let's just call it $120. That's a very good price. That's the price that I think is rock bottom. I don't feel like the set is going to get less than that. But let's talk about about what happened. So Rudy did initially expect the set to be a lot better and to hold value and he has many videos of him purchasing pallets of it and he even made an offer to pay $140 per box and shipping. That's very good. That is very good. So if you consider that, he would actually take a loss, right? At $140, let's call it $10 shipping insurance fee. So $150 is what he would pay and he's going to sell to his patrons at $120. Something went seriously wrong. Incredibly wrong for those numbers to exist in Rudy's model. And let's talk about what that is. Iconic Masters is not a set with a lot of valuable cards. It just is not. They mispick the cards you can argue iconic and i'm not really the channel to say oh lore wise this is iconic this is not iconic i'm a channel telling you value the value is simply not there it never was if you want to try to charge ten dollars a pack you need multiple mythics lily snap and multiple rares all the Zendikar Fetchlands, Goblin Guide, to be over the price of a pack. Here, there's not very much. Now, a lot of you are saying Bobble is a nice $5 uncommon. It's true, but I expect it to continue to decline. The bottom on singles has not, we don't know what the bottom is yet. I have, we have not reached it yet. How how will we know when we reached it? Well, when the Walmart stopped, when the Walmart ran out of Iconic Masters, then maybe there's a rebound. So the value of the cards and the card selection were incredibly poor. I knew this way beforehand. When I looked at it, I was like, Ooh. the balance of the cards is also incredibly poor. So how the expected value, which is already very low, is spread out. You have one mythic over... $50 and then every other mythic is $10, about $10, maybe $20 at most. That is horrible spread. Uh, Iconic Masters Managerine is now $70. For you to break even on a $140 box, you need to pull two mana drains. Pretty tough. For you to break even at retail MSRP, Suggested price from Wizards of the Coast, $240, $10 a pack, remember? You need to hit four mana drains out of 24 packs. One in every six packs has to be a mana drain. And then you break even. At retail. Buy list is half. So you need to hit eight mana drains to buy list it. In, at MSRP. So... One in every three packs has to be a mana drain. Otherwise, you lose money if you buy list at half. Okay, let's get to the crazy scenarios here. There is a mythic in Iconic Masters that is a dollar. Now, most of you will say, oh, that doesn't really matter. You know, we have seen really bad mythics before. And that is true. We have seen very bad mythics before but not when the expected value of a set is so low. The main issue here is channel. If channel is one of your mythics, you, to break even, you need a miracle. You need a foil mana drain, and that's the only way you break even at 140, 180, 200. I don't think anyone even gets to 200, and that's a problem. And why is that such a big problem? It's a big problem because there's no reason to open this box outside of drafting. If you want to draft it and have fun, great, go for it. But if you're opening for value, 
even at Rudy's 120, I don't think you can get there. Because if you could, Rudy would open most of the boxes, right? I don't think the singles long term are going to hold value. Mana Drain is a terrible selection for the Chase Mythic. First of all, they have one Chase Mythic. Mana Drain. That's a problem. Secondly, you don't have a good spread. And lastly, my gosh. Like, if your Chase Mythic is Mana Drain... You could have picked anything to be better than a single 10 or it's not being, it's not played in legacy. It's just not the, it's, it's banned. It's not played in modern. What are you going to do with it outside of put a single 10 in your ED8 stack? Most people are not going to want more than one of these. All right. So let's get into the another totally different issue, which is the Walmart issue. As soon as this product went to Walmart, I went bonkers. I made video after video after video telling you, do not buy, do not invest, do not buy, do not invest, no boxes for anybody, do not, do not open, do not pass go. I have never seen a product be successful at Walmart. You could argue the commander commander decks and da 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 and this and that but at the end of the day those are kind of unique items right those are because the boxes are different because every and you know what's in them but when i'm talking about walmart product i'm talking about conspiracy unstable now the reason i don't feel like a walmart product is ever worth investing in I would be afraid of how much Walmart has. And Rudy says he has numbers on this, but I would be very, hmm. I don't know why Walmart would ever give up their numbers or I don't know why they would ever have, anyone would know their numbers because I feel like that would be something they would want confidential. You remember, they're making these mystery boxes and these retro packs and all this stuff like, there is way more Walmarts. Okay, if I had to guess how many Walmarts, we're going to check right now. How many Walmarts are in the U.S.? What is your guess? Walmarts in U.S. Like, I would guess, oh, oh my gosh. There is 6,363 international Walmart stores in 2017. There is... 4,177 stores in the U.S., excluding Sam's Club, so not including Sam's Club, and among them, 3,275 super centers, which average to be 182,000 square feet. What the blank? Like, what? Does that really mean that many Walmarts? All right, anyway, I'll get back to my conversation. Even if every Walmart received was, you know, a shipment equivalent to local game stores, I would assume it's bigger than local game stores. I don't know the numbers, but I assume that if they wanted to carry it, Wizard of the Coast would allow them to carry as much as they wanted. Wow, those are huge numbers. And the traffic on a Walmart, I've, okay, if you happen to a game store, there's like no one there unless it's an event. If you go to a Walmart, I can go to my Super Walmart right now, which is 1 o'clock on a Saturday morning and 1 a.m. at night on a Saturday morning. And I guarantee you there's like eight people there or not eight, like 80 people at least at the Walmart. I guarantee you the parking lot is like half full. Most people will be drunk, but still. Or, or There's two types of people right now. People trying to get alcohol or people who are already drunk at Walmart. So at the end of the day, it is quite fascinating. I am not going to go ahead and bore you with the details on the analytics and the expected value because it's just bad. I will say that Iconic Masters was a mistake. Had they not done Iconic Masters, both Modern Masters and Unstable, well, actually but not both, Modern Masters, Unstable, and the 25th Anniversary Ma Masters would have been more special. Modern Masters 2017, I'm talking about. 
all of their prices would have gone up. This is just such a money grab set, like, and but there's no money in the set, and that's the problem. Is they want your money, but they're not giving you a product which is worth your money, in my opinion. So, going back to the conversation of why Rudy's selling for a hundred and twenty dollars a box, and he'll tell you this. He's an honest guy. If he expected it to be two hundred in the next two years, he would hold it. He absolutely would hold it. But there's no expectation for Iconic Masters to retain value. As long as I see these packs in Walmart, there's nowhere to go but down. Maybe they run out of Walmart sometime soon, and that's another video, but I see them at Walmart every, I see them, it, it, they're everywhere. I see them at Target, I see them, I don't know if they're in Barnes & Nobles. I haven't been to Barnes & Nobles in a while, but they do carry interesting magic products. I think Presley went the other weekend. Anyway, that is it. Bye.